I'm going to show you how you can get unlimited artistic overlay and then you can apply it to your image inside of Photoshop. So once I open my image inside of Photoshop, before I continue, let me show you how you can get the unlimited artistic overlays. So to do that, I'm going to come to my Google Chrome and just come to this website right here, firefly.adobe.com and hit enter. Now what I'm going to do from here, I'm just going to write find ads background and hit generate now it's just going to generate that for you but this is not what i actually want so what i'm going to do from here i'm going to change this place right here from square to portrait and also i have a reference overlay which i want this AI to help me generate so to do that i'm just going to come to my finder and these are the overlays right here which i want to use this one right here i've already generated this one and also this one right here also i'll be giving out these two overlays which i'll be using for this video for free i'll be leaving you quick i get them in short below of this video and also you can use that to generate unlimited overlays which i'm going to show you right now right so for this reference right here i'm just going to drag and drop these overlays on this reference like this and just hit continue it's going to upload so you can see right now it has uploaded the overlay right there once i drag i drop it also, I'm going to scroll the way down under this style. You can either drag and drop the same image or you can click on upload and just select the same overlay and click on open. And it's just going to open for me. Now, for me, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select hyper realistic just like this. And also, just leave it at art right here. All right. Now, I'm just going to change the prompt to background. Let me spell it very well. Find art background. And just click on generate you can see it's just going to generate similar picture for us so see this one it generated this one it's also generated this one this one is really good i'm going to download this one all right so it generated this one as well all right so it's just going to generate similar for you just like that okay and also upload another reference and upload similar so this way you can get unlimited overlays right so after i downloaded that picture i'm just going to come back to my photoshop so to apply it to my image i'll first of all duplicate my background layer by pressing on command j or Control j if you're using the windows so after i duplicate my layer i'm just going to select my subject and cut it out from my background so to do that i'm going to pick on any selection tool so this uh, quick selection right here works for me I'm going to click on this drop that icon right here. Click on cloud right here for a more accurate selection. And just click on select subjects. So Photoshop will automatically select my subjects for me. Please pay close attention. All right. So after I finish making the selection for us, I'm just going to invert the selection. I press no command shift I to invert the selection. And after I invert the selection, I'm just going to press or command J or control J to cut that my subject from the background so right there you can see we have if i just hide my subject layers you can see we have just the background right so i'm going to rename this layer right here subject so you can understand subject and rename this one right here background all right so after i do that i'm going to select my subject layer with my subject layer selected i'm going to put command or control and just click on my background layer right here to bring back the selection so instead of selecting it all over from scratch you can just use the existing selection all right so once i bring back that selection with my subject layer still selected i'm going to invert it this time put it on my subject and not the background all right i want to invert it by pressing on command shift i or control shift i and once i put it back to my subject i'm going to add a layer mask right here to hide that selection Instead of just deleting my subject, I'm going to hide my subject, all right? So once I hide my subject, I'm going to come to my background layer and just bring it all the way down like so, all right? But I bring it all the way down like so, the next thing I'm going to do is just to drag and drop the background which we download, all right? So let me just look for that background. So I'm going to come to my finder again, come to my download and just look for that overlay which we download not long ago. So this is it right here. I'm not going to drag and drop this picture inside of Photoshop right now. Okay. So I'm going to click and just drag it inside of Photoshop just like this. And just to resize it to fit. Like so. And hit good right here. 
Now for me, I'm just going to come to my blend mode and just play with the blend mode and see which blend mode actually fits this image. All right. So let's see. But I think overlay and soft light always work. So let's leave it at soft light. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. So let's try another overlay. So I'm going to hide this overlay. So I'll come back to my finder again. Come back to my um, video files. Come back to this um, montages folder. So these are the ones I want to use. So I'm just going to drag and drop this ones first and just resize it just like this and hit OK. Now I'll change the blend mode to soft light and hit OK again. I'm going to come back to my finder again, drag and drop this overlay again so you can stack up overlays. So I'm going to stack overlays. So I'm going to drag and drop this one again and just resize it to fit so that this works for me and hit OK. Now I'll change the blend mode to soft light again and just reduce the opacity a little bit. Now that's not all. I'm going to come to my adjustment layer, add a curves adjustment layer and just take down the brightness a little bit like so. All right. So that this works for me. Now, if I zoom in on this image, you can see the hair right here are not selected. So to add those hair to the selection, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my subject layer, click on the layer mask, click on select and mask right here. I'm just going to open the select and mask layer for me. So I'm going to pick on this refine edge tool right here and just zoom in on the hair and just increase my brush size and just paint on the hair like this to add those hair to the selection just like that. Or you can click on refine hair right here. It's just going to add those hair to the selection just like that. So you can see the is now perfect. So from here, I'm just going to click on Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I'm going to add smoke to the image. So to do that, I'll come back to my finder again, come to my download and just bring this smoke right here and just drag it above my subject layer and just move it up like this. All right. So from here, I'll change this blend mode from normal to screen and just going to add that smoke. So I'm going to duplicate this smoke layer by pressing on Command J or Control J. Click on Ctrl C and just drag it to this side and just make it look even more realistic. So like this works on me, I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity of the smoke. So I'm going to take it down a little bit like so. So like this works on me. The next I'm going to do, I'm not going to add noise to the image to bring everything together. So first of all, I'll come under my subject layer. I'm going to come to my action and just click on noise right here to add noise. And just take the noise down, pass the noise down a little bit, just like this. Also, I'll come above my subject layer and add noise. I'm going to reduce the opacity of the noise so that you can see it's too much. I'm just going to take the opacity of the noise down a little bit, like so. So, about 20 works for me. All right, 20 works for me. So, let me just group everything and show you the before and after. So, see the before, take a look at the image, the before and the after. The before and the after. I'm not going to stop here. I'm just going to use my curves adjustment to just make the color look uniform and even. So to do that, I'll come to my adjustment layer, click on curves adjustment layer right here. Once I click on it, I'm going to hold option and click on this auto right here. Once I do that, it's just going to open this menu for me. So we have two options right here. You can see we have the enhanced monochrome. If I just click on it, you can see what's happening to the image. We also have the enhanced per channel contrast. So you can see what's happening to the image. We also have the fine dark and light colors. Look at it. We also have the enhanced brightness contrast, just like that. So just choose anyone right here and see which one works for your image. So I feel this enhanced monochrome contrast works for me. And also this enhanced per channel contrast works for me. I think I'm going to use this enhanced per channel contrast because I feel it works for me. So I'm going to click on OK. So let's see the before and after for this curve we just added. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see it just bring everything together. Now one more thing. I'm going to come back to my adjustment layer again. Come to my levels adjustment layer. So my levels adjustment layer, I'm just going to move this part inside a little bit and move this part inside a little bit like this. Just to add contrast to the image. Now I'm going to group everything again and see where we started from and where we are right now. All right. So. 
this is where we started from and where we are right now where we started from and where we are right now and if you want to watch how to edit your backdrop like your background clean up and to remove distraction from your background check out this video right here i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative